my review of High on Life. Mmm. <laughs> I'll I'll give it Hmm As a player I'll give it a seven I give it a seven because uh <laughs> At the end of the day, game's alright. Game's not that great. Maybe even a 6. The reason it's so high is because it put a ton, an absolute metric fuck ton of focus on the dialogue in the game. And absolutely crushed it. Way better dialogue than fucking most games that come out have. A lot of games don't even have fucking dialogue. You could literally sit still at one NPC and do nothing for multiple minutes. And the NPC will just keep rambling. Just a random fucking NPC. And they just keep going on and on and on. And it's just like, bro. And it's constant. Throughout the entire game, it's like that. Their attention to detail when it came to the dialogue was through the roof and they absolutely crush it more than any game I know of like honestly like even take the biggest game like God of War like if you go and stand next to fucking Brock and Sindri maybe they'll say a line maybe two and then that's it and they're done especially when you start buying shit off the shelves from Brock and Sindri. Bro. They repeat the same three lines over and over every time. This game though. Every random fucking person just fucking had a whole story to tell. Absolutely destroyed it in the dialogue category. Yeah. The voice acting. The dialogue. And it's off the charts. But. Other than that. <laughs> Games lacking in many categories, which is why it's like a seven, maybe probably a six. It's buggy. It struggles to run. I've soft locked myself. <laughs> the the gameplay is really not that great. Let's be real. It's a shooter game, like every other shooter game, but they really don't dive deep into the combat. Everyone has a basic shot and then they have a second shot and that's it. They're, they don't really feel satisfying. The combat is you just sit in a corner and you and you heal all the way back to full. Plus you get a shield. It's pretty hard to die. and Even when you do die, it's not like, oh, I got outplayed. It's not. I ran face first into every bullet. Uh, so the combat's kind of ass. Uh, traveling around is pretty fun, but even then you got knifey and, uh, your jetpack is your main ways of traveling, but then incorporating every gun's secondary fire into a way of also traveling was really fucking clever. That was a super dope idea. And so that was, that wasn't so bad. The... The scenery and all that, it was, it was it was fine. The alien designs were really fucking weird and unique, which is how aliens should be. And so, for that, as a streamer, I'd give it probably a 5 out of 10. And that's because, like I said, a lot of playing the game is very boring especially if you go around and collect everything it's even more boring even less dialogue and dialogue is the only thing really bringing people in it's amazing 
for the dialogue. But then again, if people don't like the dialogue, which understandable, a lot of it is absolutely just disgusting, rancid, down and dirty dialogue. And what's happening on screen, don't even get me started on the final boss right there. Because <laughs> that is, that is wow. They really went to the, to the tipping point. Uh, so yeah, it, it could be, it could be a big drawback for a lot of people, but it could also be a very big draw in for a lot of people, for a lot of people who like the Rick and Morty style and comedy and all that. They're absolutely going to fucking eat this game up. Absolutely love it. And yeah, um, other than that, I, I had a lot of fun with it. It was good. It's pretty short. Ran through it. Didn't take too long. I I, I did uh, like one or two bosses a, a session. Took me like 10 hours total probably. And I did go around and collect a bunch of collectibles. I didn't get all of them. But uh, yeah. That is my review of High on Life. <laughs>